making a meaningful occasion. And all week long, the football chatter has centered around this game and these talented teams. Which one will outwit the other in a stadium both packed and passionate? So many questions to be answered on a day of destiny. It's Arsenal. They face Paris Saint-Germain and it's coming up live here on EA TV. Well, no doubt about it, gunning for victory. The home side tonight, we're in North London, the home of Arsenal. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined as always by Stuart Robson. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. It's Arsenal against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. Went in strongly, decisively. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Bukayo Saka plays with Leandro Trossard out wide. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And here's how the lineup looks for PSG. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Fabian plays alongside Vitor Ferreira in central midfield. And hand of the task of playing up front today is Kylian Mbappe. Shaping to shoot. And effectively parried away by the keeper. William Saliba. Thomas Partey. A lot of excitement whenever Bukayo Saka is in the lineup. Stuart, what might we see from him in this game? Well, Derek, we know he's got great pace, whether he's running with the ball or running in behind defenders. And that's what makes him such a threat on the counter-attack. And I'm sure that's going to be the tactics today from his team. Well, it was a menacing attack, but tidied up. Bukayo Saka now in possession Trossard well possibilities in the centre Trossard here's Havertz just knocked it out of there Martin Odegaard Thomas Partey Rice with it And with that, the attack fizzles out. Ferreira. And Fabian. Kylian Mbappe. Strength and control, a big part of his game. Kai Havertz. The ball back with PSG now. Dembele Mbappe looking for that final pass looking for the goal that would put them ahead well somehow the goalkeeper got to it Dembele tasked with taking the corner. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, let's take another look. And it's not good enough defensively. They're slow to react, don't get tight enough, and don't deal with the situation. And there's the outcome. So underway again here. 1-0 the score. Declan Rice. Well, nearing the half-time interval and PSG in front. Stuart, interested to get your thoughts on their performance so far. 
Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack, and they've controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. Magnificent challenge to win it back. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. We certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. So underway in the second half, it's PSG in front, but a long way from being done and dusted. Now the attack fizzled out. Tomiyasu, teammates available. Rice. Running with the ball confidently. And Kai Havertz. On to Partey. This could level it. Oh, not to be. Stopping a certain goal. Effective press. Vitor Ferreira. Warren Zaire Emery. Dembele. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. Dembele trying to open them up. Declan Rice. And here's Saliba. Martin Odegaard. Bukayo Saka. Well, spot on with that challenge. Gives it a go. And what a magical save it was. And it is substitution time at this juncture. Not just from one side, but from both. <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. Not increasing the pressure. Another corner it is. Well, it's been a while, but these fans are now coming to life. Can they equalise here? And over comes the corner. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. Bukayo Saka. Marcinelli. It's a perfect challenge. Over the touchline for what will be an Arsenal throw. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. Gabriel Jesus. And defensive play to be applauded. It's a message for Benjamin Walker. Benjamin Walker, can you please come to reception? Your wife is waiting for you. Well, a bit of an unforced error, and it's going to be a throw. Well, the stats don't lie. Arsenal have had most of the possession, but their attacking play has been too slow, mainly due to a lack of movement of the front players. At some point, they have to threaten the space in behind the defenders, otherwise they're going to lose this.
Nuno Menj. Here is Marco Asensio. Ferreira. Dembele. Promising sequence. Might it be a Mbappe? And a goal! They lead by two now. And that allows them to breathe a bit more easily. Well, he wasn't going to waste this chance. 1v1 against the keeper, and he slots it away with great confidence. That's a good finish. Well, he looks really pleased, doesn't he? His side have been really good today. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Gabriel Martinelli. Bukayo Saka. Jesus. Martinelli. The fans want to see a shot. Could reduce the deficit. Really committed defending. Dembele. Hakimi. And we are going to have two additional minutes. Well, no work for the keeper when all was said and done. So full time it is, and a morale boosting three points on the board to begin their European cafe. Well, you always want to get off to a good start, and that's exactly what they've done here. Now they can look forward to the next game. They're in a great position.